おおゴロー・ブラムハン、ゴロー・ウィシュノホン、ゴロー・デーゴー・マヘシュワラハ、ゴロー・サクシャッ・パラム・ブラムハン、タスマイ・シュリー・ゴロウェイ・ナマハン、タスマイ・シュリー・ゴロウェイ・ナマハン、タスマイ・シュリー・ゴロウェイ・ナマハン、<clears throat> the reason we become miserable in life is because we have divorced from being the witness to being the one. Who gives validity to all the variety? Instead of knowing the self and being the self, we have come to a disposition where we know the laptop, know the day, know the month, know the people. And the whole journey, therefore, will be to reduce this knowingness of the variety. Stop collecting information, whether in satsang or through books or through your senses when you are moving around in the world. Reduce the knowingness. And come to be the witness. The more the knowingness, more is the sorrow and grief. Lesser the knowingness, lesser is the sorrow and grief. And if there is no knowingness, only witnessing, then there is no sorrow and no grief、uh, at all. So, what is this knowingness? This knowingness is when the witness, as if, starts giving value to the stimuli. That stimuli could be, that stimuli always appears in the mind as a thought. Whether it, you are seeing, hearing, touching, feeling, whether it is inner seeing, hearing, touching, feeling, thinking, etc. It always appears as a thought. If you give value, if you give importance to the thought, you will get attached to the thought. You will want to know what it is about, what is that object. So the subject wants to know the object. This is knowingness. What are we trying to do? And, what, what? and that leads to this continuous engagement. Of the subject wanting to know the objects to the power of n brings about thought of knowledge after knowledge after knowledge after knowingness is increasing, and that knowingness increases by way of memory, by way of subconscious impressions, by way of.、Uh, This has to be reduced, not one day after retirement. Now, how? Then you do whatever you, how there are many ways. Enquiry is one way. Prana bandhanat, lina manasam, that is another way. <clears throat> Kriya yog, Kundalini yog, Hatha yog, Bhakti yog. 
taking the name of the Lord. All are different ways. Direct path is keep something, do something which any given moment our attempt should always be should be that I am the witness. Never get caught up in anything. Even now, listening. Listen. Let listening happen. Don't become a listener. Then you are witnessing. See? When this poise of being the witness is maintained towards the thoughts, then there is no value giving to the thoughts. Then there is no attachment to the thoughts possible. Then there is no divorce of the witness from itself to become the knower possible. A man who is married, if he gives value to another woman, then he will divorce this one and go to the other one. Same thing we have done. We, we are the infinite one and we have given importance to the object as an independent uh, entity. The moment we give value, say this body, then we get attached to the body. Now we start thinking, I want to be infinite with the body. Impossibility. And if more involvement with the body leads to more knowingness because the variety starts appearing. I want to know this. I want to know that. I want to know this. <coughs> and therefore, as long as the knowingness aspect is predominant in our life. To that extent, our suffering will continue. The whole name of the game in spirituality is to reduce this knowingness and to be the witness. There is only one I. There is not multiple eyes. So either that, that, that I is the witnessing consciousness or that I is the subject in with a reference to the object. Which one you want to be? Choose wisely. And in this manner, uh, this is the greatest tapasya. The greatest tapasya is to be the witness. As long as this body is there, very few people can, or Videha Muk, but majority can come within this lifetime, one can come to be the witnessing conscious. But that is the tapasya, not to get carried away by the stimuli of thoughts. This is interesting, that is interesting. No, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. Be withdrawn from all the stimuli and yet be conscious. In that process of watching, in that process of witnessing, the mind will undo itself. The purpose of the mind is only one. Well, I should not say purpose. The game of the mind is expansion and contraction, involvement and withdrawal. And that, and that is its nature. What can you do about it? You cannot do anything about it. Let it go on. So when the objects are there, when it is getting involved means when it is uh, becoming it's expressing as the manyness. Don't remain a witness. When it is, when the entire variety is getting collapsed, when that is withdrawal of the mind is taking place, remain a witness. In fact, if you remain a witness, your attention is on the conscious principle of being the I. When the collapse happens, when the thoughts 
सबसाइड द सेल्फ रिवील्स एट दैट मोमेंट दर इज नथिंग कॉल्ड एम्टीनेस और डार्कनेस और नथिंगनेस और एबसेंस नो just like there was always a snake uh, always a rope the snake was only an imagination on the rope similarly there is always the consciousness it's one without a second on it the mind appears why it's phenomenal why does the blueness of the uh, blueness appear on the sky it's a phenomena that's not the color of the sky why do waves appear on the ocean it's a phenomena it's happening that is its nature and it will not stop it will continue this phenomena will continue we have to negotiate through the phenomena what is the way that i can uh, on account of phenomena i am suffering because of the snake i was suffering we don't have that stamina within to be to remain as the consciousness in the consciousness at a drop of a hat we give value and start oh i think that is a snake that is gone the moment you give value gone suffering begins fear comes one doubt comes into your mind you give you have the knowingness of the doubt immediately uh, hell breaks loose so our attempt at any given moment as life is unfolding should be to reduce the knowingness reducing the knowingness will reduce the ego reduce the individuality more the data stronger is the ego stronger is the individuality lesser the data lesser is the ego lesser is the individuality no data there is no ego there is no individuality catch these few pointers that we every now and then give be very clear this is my goal i that is my natural state and the eternal witness unattached so where is this attachment it's happening in its own absence drop it it's not worth it because it's only going to bring suffering it's only going to elongate your hap along delay your happiness i should say not elongate delay your happiness delay your bliss because you are of the nature of bliss so in this manner uh, uh <clears throat> anything that takes us away from the consciousness that we are is worthy of rejection give it up give it up give it up it's not worth your attention why because that will lead to something else that will lead to suffering that will lead to grief that will lead to misery that will lead to duality that will lead to multiplicity that will lead to crystallization of the consciousness which is called another word for it is ego or individuality and why you are coming here for the meditation because you want to rise above that 
you want to dissolve that ego or individuality you want to realize that you are the the unchanging one you are the infinite one and then take the necessary ne ne there is no step to be taken either you are involved with the thought or you are witnessing the thought right now and in this manner <clears throat> the greatest tapasya is rejection of the ego or in other words rejection of the individuality and uh, recognizing that we are the unchanging principle we are the one who has never falling fallen down into knowingness knowingness means wanting to know everything which appears as separate out there in the world and who are you the all knowing principle what is he doing or she doing or what is that self witness doing it is wanting to be complete by coming to know more and more and more and more and more by way of thoughts and thought is possible only where there is an object and subject so you have fallen down fallen down from being the witness to becoming a subject with reference to object this is the downfall this is the divorce claim back your true nature by rejecting all objectivity in fact that's the first step then then second rejecting the individuality and coming to be established coming to be the self not even established you are always the self self will reveal itself where you are uninterested and uh, um interested in as a result that revelation is the revelation of the self that revelation is the discovery of the self and that is our goal of life in this manner contemplate keep sitting wherever you are comfortable position fingers interlocked and be silent play make it as a game whether we are getting involved with the objectivity of which means we are getting involved with the thoughts or are we being the witness of thought that thought can be the thought of the self also don't forget that that thought can be thought of god also oh i think i am witnessing gone because you are already thinking <laughs> witness cannot be we uh, cannot be the object of the i so keep refining your uh, disposition are you knowing or are you, or you are that's it witnessing keep fine tuning that in the next as long as you want